of a management in Zoho Recruit. Now, if a recruiter would like to send out an offer to a candidate, they can navigate to the candidates module, select the candidate, click on the three dotted icon on the right top corner and select generate offer letter. The first step involved is to select the offer template. Now, the offer template contains the details of the offer as the document that is going to be sent out to the candidate. The next step involves is to determine whether the offer letter needs to be sent out without e-sign or with e-sign. And within without e-sign, the candidate will have the option to either accept or reject the offer. And you can also select the email content that is sent out to the candidate as part of the email template. And then if you select with e-sign, the offer letter will be sent out for digital signature to the candidate where the digital signature from the candidate's end serves as the offer acceptance. But keep in mind, if you need to use with eSign, you need to integrate your Zoho Recruit account with Zoho Sign, which will also need for you to have a Zoho Sign subscription. So once you've determined the offer letter signing method, whether eSigning is required or not, you can then go ahead and populate the basic information, which involves the job opening for which the offer letter is being processed for. The department name is auto-populated because it is linked to the job opening. You can then go ahead and add your employment information. You can add the compensation amount and determine whether this is being sent out per month, per week, per day, per week or per year. And then you can select the employment type as permanent and then you can select the joining date of that particular candidate as well. Now, if you select the employment type as contract, you will be required to add a contract start date, contract end date, and a reminder for the contract expiry as well. Once you've added the employment information, you can select who the offer owner is going to be. And then you can add any additional custom details as well. Now, because the offers is a sub module, you will be able to customize the offer sub module with additional fields that can be populated on the module as well as on the offer template that is sent out to the candidate. So once you've added the additional custom information, You can add the information and finally, you can add an expiry date as well. Now, the expiry date serves as the deadline for the candidate before which they need to accept or sign the document. So if they do not acknowledge the offer, automatically the offer will be expired and withdrawn from the candidate's end. Once you've populated the basic details of the offer, you can then choose to preview the offer letter, which is previewing the contents of the document, or you can go ahead and click on save and next. Once you click on save and next, you will be required to confirm the details of the offer letter email, after which once you click on send, automatically the offer template is going to be generated as an offer document and sent out to the candidate for acknowledgement. At which point, this is going to be logged within the offer letters related list on the candidate record. And you can then choose to either resend this offer letter revise and then send the offer letter to the candidate or withdraw the offer letter or delete it as well. Alternatively, you can also manage these offers within the offers sub module, which is available under the candidate section. So you can go ahead, click on the offer, review the offer details, the offer document, and then you can either choose to revise or withdraw the offer. Now keep in mind, once the candidate accepts the offer letter, automatically the offer status is going to be switched over from offer made to offer accepted. And if the candidate rejects the offer letter, the status will change to offer rejected. And the option to revise the offer will be revoked once the candidate acknowledges the offer. You can only withdraw the offer if it has been accepted by the candidate's end. For example, if we take an accepted offer letter into account, we can see that the offer has been accepted but the option to revise the offer does not exist. So this is how offers are managed within the offer sub module. Additionally, you can customize the offers module by navigating to setup, select modules within customization, scroll down and select offers. 
in here you can add additional fields that you would require as part of your offer management process and once you've added these fields here you can also choose to add them on your offer templates as well now the offer sub module behaves just like any other module on zoho recruit and you can add additional layout rules to it or any validation rules to it as well once you're done with your changes on the offer module make sure to click on save layout to save the changes on the offers module 